Hi guys, it's Tom from Something RS here, and today I'm quite shocked to bring you an official Jagex announcement of 2007 old school RuneScape servers. Yes, this is real, so the petition has finally worked, it would seem, and Jagex have finally given in, so it seems they have managed to recover a full recovery of RuneScape from August 2007, because after that, in October 2007 they changed their backup systems so they don't have any backups after that time that would probably work. So what does this mean? Well let me give you a basic gist of this article and then we'll move on to something else which I want to explain to you. So if there's going to be a poll starting Friday the 15th of February which is this week and this poll will last for two weeks and depending on the number of votes this poll gets there will be a different level of implementation for this uh, 2007 server. So if this poll gets 50,000 or more votes then 2007 sorry 2007 servers will come back as a separate entity to the current RuneScape game with an additional membership fee of $15. So that's pretty pricey. But if the poll gets 250,000 or more votes, then this server will be supported by a small development team and the additional membership fee for this server will only be $5 extra. And the small development team for the server will basically give the server maintenance and it will integrate some anti-bot technology and stuff like that. 500,000 or more votes will see no extra membership fees for this server and will receive a dedicated development team and will re receive regular maintenance and some content updates. But if there are 750,000 or more votes, then there will be no extra membership fee and the free portion of the game will be available to everyone. So free to play players will be able to play the free to play version of 2007 server which means they won't be able to access the members, uh, uh, members features of that server I believe. Only members will be able to vote in this poll so watch out for this poll on Friday. If you don't vote for this poll which basically means you don't want the servers back then Jagex have guaranteed that this 2000 server well it will affect the de development of the current game for a little while while the server is being implemented but after that regular game updates will still be an occurrence in the regular game now what I also wanted to show you if you haven't already noticed I have a tab open which is on the RuneScape wiki for August 2007 because I want to sort of go through what these servers will not have on them because I sort of had trouble recalling what features were implemented after 2007 so I think it might be good to refresh your memories as to what will not be on these servers. So if you look here according to the RuneScape wiki this is may or may not be true the last complete backup of RuneScape was made on the 10th of August now the features I go through after this point will not will probably not be on the servers. The thing I'm a bit fuzzy about is the God Wars dungeon as it was released in August but it wasn't until the 28th of August as you can see here. So this update also included God Swords, Dragon Boots, Bandos Armor and Armadil Armor. So yeah, I'm not sure whether or not they'll be able to implement God Wars as I think it's quite a popular update but what, I guess we'll have to see what Jagex can do with this. Okay so next up 18th of September 2007 the ZMI Alter was released. This will mean RuneScape not RuneScape, RuneCrafting in RuneScape will be really fucking hard again because there's no RuneSpan, no ZMI Alter, it's just old school Alter crafting not sure if that's a good thing, but it will be good for rune prices, I suppose. And next thing, by the way, I'm only covering major features. You may notice things that I skip over. So the next thing I want to cover is the clam chat system, which was implemented on the 16th of October 2007. 
and this was also added with the loot share function. Now these features were are actually very useful but and it might be a shame if we can't see these features just because it wasn't implemented until after the backup but we'll have to see. And the next thing I want to cover is 26th of November the Grand Exchange was released. This will mean that you will have to go on the trade forums or World 2 Falador Park or something like that and you will have to spam the crap out of your keyboard in order to sell your items. I remember having to do that and uh, I don't know, I'd, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or not but I guess it could be very good for the economy but again we'll have to see. Okay so if we scroll down to the 10th of December we'll see that the Jewel Arena was made free to play. So this could mean that the Jewel Arena is made a members feature again. And if you look here, Clan Wars and Bounty Hunter were added. So we won't see Bounty Hunter, unfortunately, because I know some people are a fan of that system. I never really used it personally, so I can't really comment on it. I'm just letting you know that this is a thing. And I'm not sure if people actually use Clan Wars all that much, but... I guess it'll be a shame for those people who do actually like it. So now we're going to skip on to 2008. Now the most controvers controversial thing, 15th of January, summoning is released. This will mean we won't have summoning on these servers, which I'm personally quite pleased with because I don't really like summoning, uh, summoning. But I guess some of you might find it useful and will be sad to see it go from these servers, but oh well. And then we're just going to skip straight down to June, which is when, on the 5th of June, so the Smoking Kills quest was released. The reason I'm covering this is because this quest introduced Slayer Points. So we won't have Slayer Points anymore. So that could be good or bad. I don't think it'd be good, really. Um, as it does make Slayer trading a bit more interesting. So it just means that we'll have to do it proper old school style. Okay, and if we go down to 29th of July, we'll see that item lending was released. The reason I want to cover this is because I want to make you aware that of the possibilities of being scammed. If you lend someone an item in 2007 Scape, you may not get it back. That's just the way of it. So don't be a dumbass, don't get scammed. Okay, and next, uh, 5th of August, the resizable game window was released. I personally use the resizable game window all the time. I know there's a lot of people that still use fixed screen, which I don't really understand why, but we will, we will all be stuck with this fixed screen mode with 2007 scape, so it'll have a nice nostalgic feel to it, I guess having the tiny little window to play on. Oh, that takes me back. Okay, so if we scroll down a bit more, 29th of December, Defender of Varrock. I'm just sort of throwing this one in because of, I think, Armored Zombies came out with this quest. So that will mean that that old training spot will still not be there. So just so you know. If we go down to the 26th of November, while Guthic Sleep was released in 2008. What this will mean is that there will be no Tormented Demons, which also means there will be no such thing as Dragon Claws. So, yay for the wilderness, I guess. I think that's probably a good thing, to be honest. Um, I don't like Dragon Claws as they were. They were extremely overpowered and just kind of pointless for everyone, I suppose. Okay, so what we're going to do now is skip over to 2009 and the 10th of February is what we're going to look at which was the release of Soul Wars. Now, I think some people still kind of play this game although it's not all that useful. I can't remember what the XP rates were like back in the day but it could be good for training your skills, it might not still but I just thought I'd mention that anyway. And if we skip right on down to June 2009, went past it, 
uh, what am I looking at? Here we go. Extended agility courses. This includes the Gnome Strongholds extended course and the Barbarian Outpost extended course. This will just mean that agility will be a bit harder to train again. The XP rates won't be as good. I just thought I'd throw that one out there. And if we skip down to the 7th of October, high level potions were introduced. This includes super anti fire potions, extreme potions, and overloads. I personally think this is quite good as it'll bring everyone down to the same level in a way, other than like gear and stats. So everyone will still have access to super attack potions and stuff like that. And if we skip on down to the 8th of December 2009, we will find that Kuradel's dungeon was released along with the Kuradel Slayer Master. This will be a hindrance to Slayer training, as you won't have the high level Slayer tasks like the Jad tasks. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I, I wish they would keep this, but. You know, it was released in 2009, so you can't really expect it to be in 2007, Skate. Uh, I'm not going to keep going on through the years and up until today, because I, I feel after about this point is when it'll seem obvious to you that the updates will not be in 2007, Skate. So I just want to quickly go over what will be still in these 2007, Skate servers. That will include Construction, Hunter, Farming, Slayer, The Fight Caves, Barrows, The Warriors Guild, and therefore Defenders, Crossbows, Skill Capes, The Monkey Madness Quest, and therefore Dragon Scimitars, and The Castle Wars minigame. And those are just some of the features that will still be in the game. If you want to have a look through the RuneScape wiki, just type in runescape.wikia.com forward slash wiki followed by the year that you want to look at. So if I just type in 2005, we'll see that Slayer was released on the 26th of January 2005, which was just before my birthday. So what do you guys think about this 2007 scape server making an official Jagex comeback? Do you think Jagex are doing good by the player base? Or do you think they're just sort of trying to suck up to us and stuff? Will you be playing the 2007 Sorry, I need to speak properly. Will you be playing the 2007 Scape servers, or will you just stick to regular RuneScape? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.